Hey there, I'm Dr. K, and it sounds like you're a student that's interested to learn how to measure a segment. So let's do it. So the easiest way to measure a segment is if you're given a line, kind of like a ruler. Here we have a line, and we're going to label it, here's a midpoint zero, and here we have one, two, three, and four, and over to the other side negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. And let's say that we want to measure a segment from negative 3 to 2. Here is the segment right here. A segment is just basically a part of a line. So, the easiest way to measure the segment is to take the difference between the endpoints. So, we're going to take the absolute value of the endpoints, negative 3 minus 2, which is equal to negative 5. And remember, absolute values turn into whole um, positive numbers. So the length of that segment is actually 5. Pretty easy, huh? Now, let's say that your geometry teacher is a little bit more tricky, and he wants you to figure out how to figure out the segment on a two-dimensional plane. So you're given x and y coordinates. Here is our plane right here. And let's say that our segment is right here. So for the segment, you would be given um, the x and y coordinates for the endpoints end of the segment. Here are the endpoints. So let's say that the x and y coordinates right there for the first pointer are x1, comma, y1. And for the other endpoint, they are x2, comma, y2. And we're going to call the length of the segment d. So in order to figure out d, all we have to do is take the square root of the difference of the points squared. So it would be y2 minus y, y1 squared plus the difference between the x-coordinates, x2 minus x1 squared. So there you have it. Now you know how to find the length of a segment even on a plane. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.